The Chain Rule, level two. All right, let's try some examples. Let's start with the function raised to the power of 100. Find the derivative of r of x equals the quantity x plus 2 raised to the power of 100. Now, you should be able to identify this as a composition of functions, where the outer function is equal to x to the power of 100, and the inner function is equal to the quantity x plus 2. Now, in order to use the chain rule, we need to find the derivative of f of x, the outer function, and the derivative of g of x, the inner function. So the derivative of f of x is equal to 100 times x to the power of 99. And the derivative of g of x is equal to 1. Using the chain rule, we have that the derivative of r of x is going to be equal to derivative of f evaluated at g of x times the derivative of g of x. So the derivative of r of x is going to be equal to 100 times the quantity x plus 2 raised to the power of 99 times 1. So that signifies to 100 times the quantity x plus 2 raised to the power of 99. So if we want to use Leibniz notation, we let y to be equal to f of u, which is equal to u to the power of 100, the outer function. And then we take a derivative. dy over du is going to be equal to 100 times u to the power of 99. Likewise, we let u to be equal to g of x, which is equal to x plus 2. Taking the derivative, du over dx, is going to be equal to 1. So using the chain rule and Leibniz notation, we have that dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du over dx. So we have that dy over dx is equal to the derivative of r of x, which is equal to 100 times u to the power 99 times 1. So in front of the expression, we have that dy over dx is equal to 100 times u to the power 99. So here, what we want to do is substitute u with g of x, the inner function. So the final answer for the derivative is equal to 100 times the quantity x plus 2 to the power 99. This is the same answer that we got by using the chain rule in prime notation. Let's try an another example. Find the derivative of r of x is equal to the fourth root of the quantity 1 plus 2x plus x cubed. Just like the previous function, this is a composition of functions. The outer function is going to be equal to the fourth root of x, which can be rewritten as x to the power 1 4. And the inner function is equal to the quantity 1 plus 2x plus x cubed. So we use the chain rule, and in order to use the chain rule, we need to find the derivative of f of x and g of x. The derivative of f of x is going to be equal to 1 4 times x to the power of negative 3 fourths. And that of g of x is going to be equal to 2 plus 3x squared. So using the chain rule, we need to take a derivative of f of x and evaluate it at g of x, and then multiply that by the derivative of g of x. Applying the chain rule, we have that the derivative of r of x is going to be equal to 1 fourth times the quantity 1 plus 2x plus x cubed, all raised to the power of negative 3 fourths, times the quantity 2 plus 3x squared. So in the final expression, we have 2 plus 3x squared over 4 times the quantity 1 plus 2x plus x cubed raised to the power of 3 fourths. Alternatively, we could rewrite this expression by rewriting the fraction of power as a radical. Either expressions are acceptable. Using Leibniz notation, we let y to be equal to u to the power 1 fourth, and we take a derivative, dy over du, to be equal to 1 fourth times u to the power of negative 3 fourths. And we let u to be equal to 1 plus 2x plus x cubed. So that means that du over dx is going to be equal to 2 plus 3x squared. So the derivative of, of r of x, dy over dx, is going to be equal to 1 fourth times u to the power of negative 3 fourths times the quantity 2 plus 3x squared. So in the final expression, we have 2 plus 3x squared over 4 times u to the power of 3 fourths. And once again, substitute u with that of g of x, the inner function. So the final answer is equal to 2 plus 3x squared over 4 times 1 plus 2x plus x cubed, all raised to the power of 3 fourths. Same answer that we got by using the chain rule in prime notation. Let's try the next example. Find the derivative of r of x is equal to tangent of cosine of x. Again, this is a composition of functions. We need to identify the outer and the inner function. The outer function is going to be equal to tangent of x, and the inner function is going to be equal to cosine of x. In order to use the chain rule, we need the derivative of f of x, which is equal to secant squared of x, and that of g of x, which is equal to negative sine of x. Applying the chain rule, we have that the derivative of r of x is going to be equal to 
secant squared of cosine of x times negative sine of x. Simplifying the expression, we have negative sine of x times secant squared of cosine of x. Using Leibniz notation, we let y to be equal to tangent of u, so that the derivative dy over du is equal to secant squared of u, and we let u to be equal to cosine of x, so that the derivative of du over dx is equal to negative sine of x. That means that dy over dx is going to be equal to secant squared of u times negative sine of x. So in the final expression, we have negative sine of x times secant squared of u. And substituting u with that of g of x, the inner function, we have the final expression to be equal to negative sine of x times secant squared of cosine of x. All right, let's try the final example. Find the derivative of r of x equal to e to the power of x squared plus 2. This is a composition of functions. Let's identify the outer and the inner function. So the outer function is going to be equal to e to the power of x, and the inner function is going to be equal to x squared plus 2. The derivative of f of x is equal to e to the x, and that of g of x is equal to 2x. Applying the chain rule, we have that the derivative of r of x is equal to e to the power of x squared plus 2 times 2x. So in the final expression, we have the final answer to be 2 times x times e to the power of x squared plus 2. Using Leibniz notation, we let y to be equal to e to the u, so that the derivative of dy over du is equal to e to the u, and we let u to be equal to x squared plus 2, so that the derivative is equal to 2x. That means that dy over dx is equal to e to the u times 2x. So here, we once again substitute u with g of x, the inner function, for the final answer to be equal to 2 times x times e to the power of x squared plus 2. Uh, in general, you will be working mostly with the prime notation form. It's a good practice to use Leibniz notation when we talk about implicit differentiation. In our next video, we will work on slightly more complicated derivatives by using the chain rule.